Hey and welcome to another Dreamweaver tutorial. Today we're going to be inserting a main navigation bar. Um, it's very similar to the Apple iStore navigation bar that they use. Now we've got an up image, an over image and a down image. Now the up image or the up state is how the button will look when it initially loads on your web page. The over image is how it will look when someone rolls their mouse over the button itself. And then finally we have the down image which is how it look when someone clicks on the button. Now I've just opened the root directory and I've just loaded index.html which we created in a previous tutorial. Now I have my images stored on my desktop so I'm going to go to my desktop now, highlight the folder and click and drag it into Dreamweaver and I'm going to nestle it inside the root directory. Yep, just drag it down till you see the Dreamweaver icon and just drag it straight into your site route. Now as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, we're going to put the navigation bar underneath the header image, inside the header div container. So I want you to click on the image and then press the right arrow key. And that will place your cursor just after the image. Now go to insert image objects navigation bar now for the element name I'm gonna call that tutorials because that's my first button I'm, it's not gonna be a roll over this one I'm just gonna make it one image so I'm gonna browse for the up image and I'm gonna scroll down until I can find the button for tutorials and there it is so I've double clicked on that and that's just inserted the image the second image which will be the rollover image is how the button looks when a mouse rolls over it. The down image is how it looks when someone clicks on the button. And finally we have the over while down image and most people don't use that, there's no real need to, it's what happens when someone rolls over your button. Now the alternative text is what happens when your image fails to load, I'm going to put in tutorials home. And you can put a URL in here but I'm going to show you a different way, a better way to put it in and preload images you definitely want to have that pressed otherwise there will be a delay when someone rolls over your button and showing the down image initially is very good for landing pages and site navigation you can choose to insert your navigation bar horizontally or vertically, we're going to do it horizontally and we're going to put in our next button now if I draw your attention to the add item button press that and we can put in our next element and the next element is going to be my Dreamweaver button for Dreamweaver tutorials and I'm going to browse for the up image and there it is notice the dimensions uh, they're all 123 pixels width by 43 pixels in height that's essential when you're doing a rollover button unless you're doing some kind of abstract button okay so I'm going to insert my up image, I'm going to double click on that and it's been inserted, I'm going to browse for the over image now there's also an image preview window which tells you the dimensions of the image and the load time in seconds so I'm going to double click on my over image and insert that and we're going to search for the down image now so double click on the down image and for the overall down image we're not going to bubble with we're going to put in alternative text, I'm going to put free Dreamweaver tutorials so if the image fails to load that's what will show okay preload images and the rest as my settings are now we're going to put in one more button before we preview it in the browser so add item and my next element name is going to be fireworks now I'm going to browse for the up image again okay there's the up image double click on that I'm gonna to go to the over image and browse for that one double click on that one and finally the down image and double click okay for the alternative text I'm gonna put free fireworks tutorials and then press OK and it's put it just where we asked it to just under the header image and if you look we can see that it's enclosed it in a table so the three images are there we've got another six to add five or six to add 
So let's preview it in our browser. Go up to the globe icon and press preview. Save changes. OK, and there it is. Now as I roll over the images, you can see that the rollover image is occurring. Uh, the first button never had a rollover image, so that's fine. Um, so if we click on it, we can see that the down image is loading as well. So let's roll over to the fireworks image and press that one. That's also loaded correctly. Now, when you roll over it, it still shows the rollover image. So that kind of does away with the need to have an overworld down state. And as you can see, the overworld down state will work on the Dreamweaver image as well. Okay, let's go back into Dreamweaver and we're going to put in the rest of our navigation bar. Now to achieve that, let's click away from our navigation bar, in other words deselect it, and we'll go up to insert image objects navigation bar, and what will come up is a dialog box that tells us that we can't insert another one but we can modify it, so press OK. Now click on the last button that you put in and we'll go to the add item button, and we'll put in our next element name. And I'm going to type in SEO for search engine optimization and we'll browse for the up image. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to double click on that one. And we're going to browse for the over image. And then finally, we're going to browse for the down image. Okay, and there you have it. Now for the alternate text, I'm going to type in search engine optimization I'm going to use the American spelling and we're going to leave all the other settings just as they were before so preload images on and let's insert another button and this button I'm going to call AdSense for Google AdSense and I'm going to click and browse for the up image this button I made slightly different from the others. I put a few colours in as well. So browse for the over image and then browse for the down image. Fantastic. OK, let's put in the alternate text. And I'm going to type in Google AdSense Advice. So start putting in the rest of your buttons and I'll see you at the end where we'll preview it in our browser. Now if you put all your buttons in correctly, you should have something looking a little bit like this. My navigation bar is finished. And it was so easy to do. Okay, so they're all there. All of the buttons are there. Let's preview it in the browser. Go up to the globe icon. Save the changes. And there it is. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you join me in the next tutorial where we'll be adding links to our navigation bar as well as links to our text. See you then.